operators, they really do want to embrace openness. You know, when you thought about NFV and where it originally started from, it was really around, you know, how can I actually build out a network with different vendors, uh, have open initiatives for management and orchestration, uh, and really build out this open ecosystem. And OpenStack enables the operators to kind of go down that path of, you know, I can select multiple vendors, um, I can have a management and orchestration system, which allows me to, to manage the different vendors in my network, uh, the different VNFs, and that allows them to give them a lot of choice and it allows them to then deploy multiple different services. You know, for example, virtual IMS solutions, uh, customer premise equipment solution, virtual CPE, uh, SD-WAN, and now operators are looking at 5G and the Internet of Things, and so this gives them a great leeway into developing new solutions for the IoT market. When operators started to deploy NFV and they're looking at uh, virtualizing the different functions, they are looking at uh, having a, a third party independence and being able to select different vendors and have that integrated all in their network. So I think that's nirvana, that's where they want to get to, but in reality, I think they're still struggling a little bit right now. And so for OpenStack, uh, there are some challenges, even some of the sessions that I've been at you know, this week, they are talking about some of the interoperability issues. And I think this is where VMware actually helps the operators because we actually provide uh, an OpenStack solution with VMware integrated OpenStack, uh, but yet we also provide certification uh, with over 34 different VNFs and different uh, VNF partners. And that gives the operators the ability then to select and pick and choose and make and ensure that whatever solution that they want to deploy, it has been fully certified and tested on top of VMware's infrastructure program. Operators really do want to talk about uh, OpenStack and, and they want to be able to have integration with OpenO initiatives, uh, ONAP initiatives, because it allows them then to select best of breed vendors, best of breed solutions for their deployments of NFV. And VMware is actually a very active participant, uh, is one of the founding members of ONAP. And we do that because we allow the operators and we think the operators really want to have this open standards, open sourced network where they can basically plug in different uh, vendors' solutions and make sure that everything all works together. Because at the end of the day, what the operators really want is openness, but ensuring that everything works together, it's interoperable, um, and that they can actually deploy services faster to market. Absolutely. Uh, when you're looking at 5G, you're looking at the Internet of Things, uh, and what operators are trying to do for deploying new services, OpenStack is going to be a critical component for them as they look to deploy these new services. So I think it's, it's critical that uh, the operators will select OpenStack uh, for their 5G deployments.